I like your enthusiasm. Um, yes, Aiden, that's get out to your grammar examiner so that you have some resources to look back on in case you are questioning anything. A resource. And let's see what we have yet to fill in. So, anybody have any ideas about again? I'm looking it up what now. Adjective. Could be an adjective? And what would it be referring to? Um, like it's referring to like you might we might speak with old grouch again. We might what again? Speak with old grouch again. So do you think it's attached to that word speak? Yeah. What kind of word is speak? Yeah. A verb. Oh, and then an adverb. Would so we use an adjective with a verb? No, we would use an adjective with a noun. So we could use an ad now. Sierra just looked it up. And you say Eureka. It is an adverb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so we can write it up because you came to that understanding with logic and reasoning. That's awesome. Way to do it. Now we're still looking for with. Did you find it? Do you have any guesses about what it might be? Did you have a dictionary out to look at? Do you know what with is? I found it in here and when I saw it, I'm like, oh, duh, I should have known that. But can I say? Yes. Oh, it's a preposition. It's a preposition. Does anybody disagree with any of the choices made? I, I'm looking up forward, but I'm not really sure. Okay, you're wondering about forward, whether it's a preposition or not. Okay, good. I'm glad to see you're heading to the dictionary right away. Prince. Forward is an adjective. Forward is an adjective. Is yeah. it? You found the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Sweet is there a possibility it could be anything else? It could be an adjective. Oh, it doesn't it say it's anything else. Oh, it could be a noun. It could be a noun. It could be an, noun. Yeah. It could be an adverb. It could be an adjective. So we need to look at how it's being used. Oh, noun. Noun. Right there. Right there. Oh, we have three. Great. So preposition is wrong. But we have to decide what it is. What does it have to do with in this sentence? It's looking for it's looking. Looking. So it has to do with the verb. It's how we're looking. Yeah. So what would it be then of those three? Now an adjective. Adverb. 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 And then we have a conjunction. Anybody want to name the kind of conjunction we're looking at here? Mm -hmm. Kind of conjunction. Emery, do you know what kind? Um, Which list will you find and on your list of conjunctions? Look at the heading. The coordinating. Excellent. The coordinating conjunction. And now look at the very bottom of your page in yellow still, and it'll tell you what kind of sentence that's going to happen. Right. So that is your tip off. The kind of conjunction is going to tell you the kind of sentence structure you're going to have having. Then we have a pronoun, and we have a verb. What kind of pronoun is this? We. What kind of pronoun? Obi. It is a subject pronoun, and it's in a place where we would need a subject anyway, so it's perfect. Prepositions verb. What do you got when you have a preposition it's a to it's followed it's by a verb? Infinitive phrase. An infinitive. Yeah. Yeah. Preposition. Okay. We have a preposition followed by a pronoun, and then we have an adverb, which is taking us back to speaking, we decided, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have a preposition, pronoun. Prepositional phrase. What kind of parts of speech are in a prepositional phrase? The preposition, of course. But what other kinds might be in a prepositional phrase? Maya? Um, it'll always like end with a pronoun or a noun. Right. Always end with a pronoun or a noun, and it may or may not have some adjectives in there. So now we're looking for subjects and predicates. What kind of predicate do we have here? A linking verb. So if we have a linking verb, 
Here's our subject. If we have a linking verb, we're going to be on the lookout for uh, subject, subject complement. Subject complement. Do we have one here? Is there a word that goes back to the subject and tells us more about the subject? Oh, you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. Man. Man. Oh, it's interesting. It's a man. man. Oh, okay. right. It's a man. Right. It's it can be an man. adjective or a noun, and we have a man as our subject complement. Kind of man. A and old grouch and man. It's like an equal sign, right? So linking verb is like an equal sign. Uh, Seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you think? What do you think? It's not a prepositional phrase. It's an infinitive phrase. Excellent. Now, Cal, explain, explain why it's not a prepositional phrase. It's even though it has a preposition in it, you might think it's a prepositional phrase. But if you have preposition verb, it's automatically. No, verb. no. The preposition has to be two. Yeah. Excellent. Putting it all together, you guys said it beautifully. While Mary is doing that, we're going to start thinking about what kind of sentence it there's is. One more, but there's one more phrase. We have yeah. another phrase. Oh, here. Here. Oh, I love it. it. I told you, I know, I was, I, I was, oh, remember <laughs> that. Oh, what is our other phrase? It's prepositional, right? We do have a prepositional phrase. That's correct. 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 So that if you just heard it, you would understand there was an exclamation point at the end. Chris, how would you read it? Old Grouch is interesting, man. You look forward to speaking here with the guests. <laughs> Old Grouch is an interesting man. And we look forward to speaking with him again. <laughs> him again. <laughs> oh, so we have an exclamatory sentence. And the last thing we're going to look at is the sentence structure. <laughs> Emery. Because we have a coordinating conjunction. Because we have a coordinating conjunction. Causes. <laughs> and Maya, would you circle the other one? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, Old Grouch is an interesting man, comma, poor day congestion. Hi. We look forward to speaking with him again. Ooh, is it true that we could say this all by itself? Oh, we look forward to speaking with him again. But old oh, grouch is an interesting man. Two independent simple sentences put together to make a compound.